What's up times three is Von the Serious Star, Serious V, the self-help sensei coming to you live from the airways. And today we is doing Truth in Films episode two. And the movie we gonna be discussing today is the movie called Old, O-L-D. It came out in 2021. Now you already know I come with my talking points. I got three main talking points. I gotta go over the movie, then I gotta go down into the similarities of what I'm talking about, how it relates to what's going on and activities going on currently today. All right, so yo, let's go over the overview of the movie. That's talking point number one. The movie pretty much is about family. It's not like a detailed storyline about them their characters and stuff like that separately is more so a group thing so it's about a family who is going on vacation you got a mom dad um you got two kids boy and girl they they trying to go you know to a little resort and stuff like that to get a little vacation and spend some time wife spend some time with the uh, husband kids spend some time having fun and stuff like that little things that you do you know what i mean when you're on the beach when you vacation and stuff like that all right so what happens is this family gets to a resort because they vacationing on a resort it's pretty much a large space a large uh constructed building and stuff like that you know what i mean nice and all that it's a lot of people there but for some odd reason the family gets steered away by somebody who works there to another like private beach and it's isolated so like if you got like weird nefarious uh agendas and stuff like that and you around that area with that type of mindset you'll the, that beach is isolated you know you you'll have like opportunities to do some weird nefarious type stuff so for some weird reason this family and a couple other people get uh coerced to go to a private beach a, a location that i believe like in the movie it might i don't think it was like uh mapped out on a like on a regular map or nothing like that so what happens is eventually while they at this beach they they, they start chilling you know i mean they relaxing all stuff like that it's like isolated you know what i mean they ain't got they don't have to worry about too many types of uh uh things going on they got a whole giant beach to themselves Excuse me. So over time, while they chilling on this beach, they start noticing odd things, like weird things going on physically with the people who actually there. It's only a few of them. It's like a little small group of people. For one, like this dude, uh, melanated dude, he started bleeding out of his nose, like, and he seemed like he was mentally off, like, like he was in another realm, like in La La Land, pretty much. So over time, everybody started noticing and picking up on things that's changing within themselves as well. And they realize, they come to the conclusion over time that for some weird reason, they're aging. Like they can actually physically see themselves aging. Like the kids is growing up, you know what I mean? Becoming teenagers, they were like uh, uh, in, in ages like 10 down and now they're in their teens and stuff like that or grown. Uh, the, the older people who was there, like moms and dads, stuff like that, they starting to age and have aging issues, like hearing loss, seeing loss, and stuff like that, like vision problems and everything. <clears throat> and people also starting to get like weird mental issues, like possibly dementia. Because there was this one dude in the movie, he kept on trying to kill somebody, like for some weird reason, he just started spazzing out. And I think that was what was affecting him. So all, all the time they also noticed well, I don't know. They, I don't remember if they noticed, but I know that they showed through on the movie that these people are being recorded. They being documented. They got a, a dude on top of the mountain. Uh, you can you can see the shine off the camera. He he pretty much documenting this whole event, like what's going on with these people. Like from the time they get there to the time, you know what I mean. Later on in the movie, and what's happening is is something is going on. Some type of metaphysical property is going on within the algae and the water and in the sand of the beach and it's affecting everything that comes in contact with the sand so when you standing on the sand and you, you even in the air possibly in that area uh it's 
this thing is affecting your, your, your actual cells and making the, 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 the growth process speed up. So we come to the conclusion in the movie that it's actually, this is actually a testing ground for medical research. But these people actually are using this secret hidden beach to test uh, different types of medicine, different any type of thing that they can create that will help the medical field, aka Big Farm. Now, let's take this away from the. Oh, actually, before I do that. At one point in the movie, the dude they were in they were in the research lab talking about how they actually cured one of the the guinea pigs, if you want to call it the guinea pig, they cured their epilepsy for a specific amount of time. And they started clapping it up and being all hype and stuff, like, yeah, we're gonna roll this out to uh the world and we're gonna be able to cure epilepsy and all that stuff like that. Now, clearly. This is like a push towards some type of big agenda. And what's the big agenda? You already know, big money. Big farm, big money, they go hand in hand. Now, you already, let's, let's talk about big farm real quick. Medicine for any type of thing is expensive. Anybody who goes to the doctor and knows that medicine, doctor visits and all this stuff is expensive. It's not cheap. Not only that, a lot of the times the things that's being taken is things that only put a band-aid on the actual like specific types of diseases and stuff like that whereas though we could possibly have the technology to cure a lot of things um, and it's possibly been technology to cure things even when it was said that it couldn't be cured those types of issues those types of scenarios is putting a band-aid on a cut on an on a infection that's going to stay infected, but you put a Band-Aid on the top of it to try to make it better for the time being. And when the Band-Aid is bad, you gotta change the Band-Aid again. That's just like constantly, repeatedly taking medicine for something that's chronic, that could possibly even be cured. Like I said, in today's age, technology is way ahead of what the normal human being who's not previewed to technology and does, does not have access to uh, clearances and stuff like security clearances and stuff like that to dish out different types of technology. Technology is way ahead of what the public is preview to. Now, these, let's, I'm, I'm gonna take it into uh, the field of reality. We gotta, it, this is, this movie is under the, uh, the, 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 the genre of science fiction, but it, I'm changing the whole genre is science reality. We gotta ch stop saying science fiction because the, the, a lot of the things that we see on TV is reality. It's it's made and it's talking to you in symbology, mythology, astrology, astronomy, numerology, and just a lot of different things, uh, colorology, all types of things talking to you in a lot of different manners and speaking a lot of different languages at once. So we got to say side reality. We just got to have the eye to be able to break down the reality of it. Now, let's go into, for all my people who's in the targeted community, the TIs, the real TIs, not any fake TIs who's speaking about things that have nothing to do with the reality of being a targeted individual. We're going to talk about remote neural monitoring. So remote neural monitoring is a technology that pretty much picks up your brain waves and your brain functions. It could possibly pick up your EEG. I'm not 100% sure on that. There's other people online, especially here on YouTube, who know way more about R&M than I do, but I know for a fact that I'm under remote neural monitoring. Um, This is a technology that just like this, the beach is a secret place where it's medical research being done and, and, and operated and conducted and stuff like that. Remote neural technology, remote neural monitoring is a technology that's a secretive technology that's being used to operate uh, 
and 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 try and have a has a goal just like in the movie big farm has a goal remote neural monitoring the the, the people who dish out this technology and who's in charge of and who created this technology has a goal just like big farm the goal is mental illness uh prison systems uh suicide going crazy things like that and what again what it is is it picks up on your brain wave functioning to know exactly what's going on in your brain this is mind reading technology they have patents that you can look up on Google for this type of technology. A lot of the things that we see in movies actually has possibly could have patents in reality. I gotta get a little more on to the research of the patents of a lot of the technology, but I know for a fact that I've read about the patent for remote neural monitoring. It came out in the 1900s. Not exactly sure what year in the 1900s, but the patent definitely does exist on Google, and you can find it if you Google it. I also put the name of the patent I'm talking about in the description. So the goal again, the goal is for one for big farm if mental health issues to say that a person is unfit for society and he needs to be in a mental facility and under some form of psychiatric drug, um, which is pharmaceuticals, and pharmaceuticals require big money. You get what I'm saying? So the whole thing, similarity from the beach having being a small, a secretive place to experiment medicine and things like that on to see how long this medicine will t uh, last throughout somebody's lifespan if their lifespan is uh, sped up and all that all this is medical research for money to dish out for pills and, and, and other things that's in the pharmaceutical uh, world just like the goal behind using remote neural technology remote neural monitoring technology on individuals is similar goals mental health uh, being drugged up prison systems, um, suicide, harming people and things like that. They both have nefarious types of goals because for the beach, you have to take unwilling subjects and use them as experimentation to try to get to another goal, which is trying to create chaos, trying to create order from chaos, which we see every day. So yo, this is all I wanted to talk about was how this movie Old, which is under the genre of science fiction, which like I said, I'm changing the genre, it's science reality, sci real. This is the overview of how that movie relates to today. Remote neural monitoring technology, the beach, experiments going on to test medicine remote neural monitoring experiments going on to gain a bigger goal possibly with big farm one of the main goals so in both movie and reality the agenda has something to do with the pharmaceutical companies all of this can be seen in multiple different other movies as well we calling it side reality no more science fiction. This is all I wanted to come on today and talk about was a quick overview of how this relates to each other. Is Vaughn the Serious Star, Serious V, the self help sensor coming to you live from the airwaves? And I will be back like I never left.